Storm Michael is now a Category 1 hurricane. Right now, heavy rainfall and strong winds are spreading across western Cuba with winds up to 75 miles per hour. It is expected to keep moving toward the Gulf Coast. It may strengthen to a Category 3 sometime tomorrow. Officials say it could be a dangerous major hurricane when it reaches the Florida Panhandle on Wednesday. Scientists are warning if drastic action is not taken, climate change could reach crisis levels in about a decade. UN researchers warn extreme drought, wildfires, floods, and global food shortages are on tap if nothing is done. CBS's Tina Krauss reports from London. Climate scientists are issuing a final call to save the world from climate catastrophe. Every bit of warming matters. A landmark UN report says a global temperature rise of 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit is a threshold the planet cannot cross without seeing the worst effects of climate change. Scientists say if greenhouse gas emissions continue at the current rate, the atmosphere will hit a breaking point by 2040, inundating coastlines and intensifying droughts and food shortages. There are signs that mitigation is going on. But if this is to be achieved, there's an urgent need to accelerate. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says nations need to boost the use of renewable energy like solar and wind power significantly in the next decade, and coal and gas plants must be equipped with cleaner technology. Climate change is already affecting people, ecosystems, and livelihoods all around the world. But experts are aware the political will to make tough choices to save the planet may not be there. We've told you what you, the, the scientific facts, the evidence, the costs. It is up to the governments now to decide what to do with it. As part of the Paris Agreement on climate change, which the U.S. has pulled out of, countries have already committed to driving forward with renewable power and electric vehicles and phasing out polluting coal power. President Trump has questioned the science of human-caused climate change and withdrew the U.S. from the Paris Climate 